Hi, I'm Jason, and today I'm going to show you a somewhat unconventional method for venting windscreens for alcohol stoves. Um, I've always found it strange that most designs incorporate uh, permanent holes punched into the base of the windscreen, um, since the windscreen is designed to block wind. If you think about it, it's kind of like having permanent holes in the windshield of your car. We wouldn't want that, obviously. Uh, we want something that's a permanent uh, sealed enclosure that we can adjust by opening or closing the windows so that we stay comfortable. I kind of see that as an analogy for our windscreen so that we can uh, adapt to changing conditions. So if you look at my windscreen, you'll see there are no holes in the base. Um, and today I'm going to show you how you can get your air intake uh, to come through a solid windscreen like this. It's very easy. The basic idea is this. You can dig small trenches under your windscreen to allow the air in, and you can control it much better than you can control permanently punched holes. So I have my titanium trowel here in my, my solid windscreen, and first what I do is I just slightly turn the windscreen and dig it into the ground a little bit to give myself a visual marker, then remove the windscreen. Now you can see I have an outline traced here, so I know exactly the diameter of my windscreen. And I'm just going to dig some small trenches with my trowel around the perimeter of the windscreen. The size and number of these will vary according to the weather conditions, if it's windy or not. Okay, so, then you can replace the windscreen and you can see I've got some uh, small holes here where the air can come in for the stove. So basically, you kind of guesstimate how many you need and then put your setup and you're ready to go. If it's extremely windy, you can put your trenches only on the leeward side and leave the windward side set up. So this would be a typical setup if the wind were very strong coming in this direction. Uh, the other nice thing is that after you've dug the trenches and you're starting to cook on your stove, if you think that you've made too many trenches, uh, then they're very easy to regulate just by blocking up with some of the dirt that you dug out earlier. So you can really control this very well, even while it's cooking. Uh, there are some variable vent windscreens out there, however, uh, you have to wait until they cool down to open and close the vents. With this one, I can close up all these vents just by blocking them with dirt, and I can adjust it that way. So, I hope you try out my system, and I hope it works as well for you as it does for me.